Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a really easy herb and cheese omelette for one person. So if you want to make this for two, simply just double the ingredients. There's one more ingredient here, which is one teaspoon of water. So this is what we need. You also need a frying pan and a little bit of olive oil. So let's go. All right, come on in. All right, so with the chopped herbs, I had a little bit of mint in the freezer and I've got my fresh basil, which is growing on my windowsill. Strangely, it's the only herb that seems to grow in my kitchen and I hardly use it. So I thought I'd use that in here. Okay, so grab yourself a jug, a cup, because I like to crack the eggs into it. So we want two eggs, one at a time in they go, we need a whisk as well. So this is one of those good um, things if you want a quick light dinner like I'm having tonight because I'm absolutely exhausted or um, if you want a, a nice leisurely breakfast or a, or a brunch. So your two eggs, whisk them up. And we just need one teaspoon of water to go in with that as well. Use cold water, not hot water. Okay, so in goes that. All right. So come on over to the stove and we'll get our frying pan nice and hot. Okay, splash in some olive oil. Not too much. If you can use a... A non-stick frying pan go for it so that way you're not getting the oil in there so quite simply all we do is we put the egg in and when it starts to set that's when we're going to put the herbs and the cheese in so we're not making scrambled eggs so we don't want to stir it around scrambled eggs is where you stir it around probably should have got the pan a bit hotter before i put that in it'll be fine though okay now it won't take too long because i've got this on really hot so stir briefly until it begins to set sprinkle cheese and herbs over half the omelette then flip unfilled side over so you basically just um, like an imaginary um, taco as such I guess so you can sort of go like this and this basically just starts to get it setting It's starting to get hot. Just had a horrible thought that my stove wasn't working. Oh no, there it is. See the steam. When you start to see it setting, that's when you're ready to put the rest of the stuff in. Now would be a good time to put your toast on. If you don't want to serve it with toast, if you want muffins or crumpets or a croissant or something instead, get start and get that ready as well because this won't take long. And you don't want to keep this waiting while you're getting your side dishes ready. If you're serving two people, I suggest you maybe just make a 
couple of individual ones. See how this is now starting to set. is what we want so keep sort of pushing it in it's getting really hot now there we go you can start to see it setting on the bottom now all right i'm gonna put the cheese there grab those herbs doesn't really want to do what I want it to do so if it looks like scrambled eggs for mine then tough but you can learn from my my little mistake here I'm going to actually have to flip it over anyway I want to make sure it's cooked through but with an omelette though you don't want it too rubbery so turn your heat down sometimes you need two flippers as well sometimes when I make omelettes they don't like me as you can see here and it looks more like scrambled eggs than an omelette it really does look like scrambled eggs now all right so i'm going to turn that off now because i don't like burnt omelets or rubbery omelets i prefer it to be a little bit gooey that would be the cheese anyway so i'm going to lift that off the heat so in a perfect picture, that would look amazing, but in reality, I'm going to be eating it anyway with toast. So thank you for watching Cooking with Violet Vixen. And this has been Herb and Cheese Omelette to Serve One. I'll catch you on the next adventure. Bye.